Hi there everybody, Flash Trasman back again with a new Trasman Tries. Today we're looking at Vogue State Revolution. This came out March 20, 2021. What it's about, I hear you ask. Let's look, read Steam. Greetings, Your Excellency. Time to rebuild, reform, and prepare for new challenges in the People's Republic of Basenji. In this thrilling political strategy, in this thrilling political strategy, you will appoint ministers and lead the country to success. Be careful, Martha, you may find yourself replaced in the next election. It's got very positive reviews on Steam. I've messed about this a little bit, so I thought, well, let's take a look at it. New game. Tutorial. I want to see what the tutorial's like. Hey, because I've not played it that much, and I think you can always tell how... I always think... I think a tutorial's very important, so... Okay. Right. Try... Yep. I'll have that one. <coughs> okay. Nope, that ended badly. Someone must have poisoned my tea. I think it's a janitor. Do I think this is because I've played it because I've I've started it again. It's coming up as if I've played on through and failed. So I'm thinking basically that's kind of because it thinks I've played it already. So the first time you load it up, you might get something different. Television in Basenji today. There is a mood of jubilation as thousands crowd the streets in celebration. The first ever democratic election in the People's Republic of Basenji is a success. Five years ago, the monarchy was replaced by a transitional government. And now, finally, after great struggle, democracy has come to Basenji. For the first time in their turbulent history, both Basenji and ethnic Karifi are voting for a government of their choice. Twelve political parties campaigned, representing a wide political spectrum, with the largest, the Basenji Nationalist Party, sweeping the election with 72% of the vote. Good morning, Your Excellency. My name is Sibiria. I have been assigned as your political strategist. And I am Yusuf. I will be serving as your military attaché. The first task before you is to appoint cabinet roles for representatives from across our great nation. These are critical positions. Once appointed, cabinet members are constitutionally protected. They cannot be removed from office. Indeed, you will be stuck with these ministers, for better or worse. I would advise you listen to their needs. And I say look for loyalty. There will be hard days ahead. We will need a cabinet that is on our side. No matter what. Excellency, it's time for us to form the government responsible for building Basenji's glorious future. Hopefully I've got the volume up this time. <coughs> they have live acting. I'm not sure what to make of that, but different. Alright, point to cabinet. Potential that all ministers are appropriate for ministries, so we've got Yusef rose rapidly through the ranks of the Basenji armed forces, earning many commendations despite seeing little combat during the Basenji civil war. He is responsible for briefing your military matters and passing your instructions along to the Basenji generals. Then we've got Sabri Sabriya, received a master's degree in political administration from Oxford University and worked for your former election campaign manager before his retirement. Persuasive and, persuasive and manipulative gossip is her trade and she can get the kind of information you can't find anywhere else. Okay, so. Responsible transport, health, education, network, defence, responsible armed forces and intelligence services, responsible taxation, the regulation of your people's financial behaviour, responsible per policies pertaining to energy and natural resources. We've got this guy. Right. Illiberal and is secular. Aziz al Kamali is an interesting man. He lost his wife in the first revolution and swore to build a better Basenji for his two daughters. He's quite frugal with a good, tra good track record for, for uh, fiscal responsibility. You can probably court him on the counter to run a tight ship wherever he decides to take, uh, wherever he decides to place him. Construction costs lowered for buildings related to this ministry. Favour is exchanged for 10 intelligence. Ignore the rumours that he's connected to organised crime syndicates. I say he's a cunning manipulator. Be careful what position you award him because the second you take your eyes off him, he'll change, he'll change his script if he believes it benefits his own ambitions. Okay, he may alter policies and minister. Okay. 
champion of the people. She has worked exceptionally hard for both you and your her constituents. She's pious disposition, demonstrative virtue, and selfless for her political career. No matter where you place her, she'll be grateful for the opportunity. Okay. Pious, perhaps, but she has a reputation for burning bridges with people she thinks are beneath her. Rest assured, no matter where you place her, her tactless disposition makes her so popular with Makes it so popular the constituents uh, will keep her from accomplishing anything. Okay. So we've got this guy, served General Adad, an inspiring hero, both the Senji Revolution and the Civil War. He's responsible for one. Uh, ab he's he's possibly the one person for the person our nation's conservatives and liberals can agree on. Right. He carries with him a lot of baggage from a violent history, but what's more concerning to me is the moment that Adid is quite old and getting poor health. He might get a family need to replace him, less desirable candidate in the future. Okay. Okay, so you, you notice you get, con you, get con you get different views from Sabria and our man Yusuf over here. Right, this guy is the Minister of Defence. One of these young guys are stuck, took it rich, building an app or something, and fancies himself as a politician now. I'll give him this, he's very resourceful, bringing fresh ideas to a, a lot of old problems. On the downside, a, a lot a downside is a lot of those ideas involve building apps as well. Extra event options are made available. Is what I, I, have you actually ever spoke to him though? He's a moron. You don't want to put him a camera or microphone for this guy who, uh, or you don't know what crazy stuff it is could come out of his mouth. Okay. Silly man comes from old money, the eldest of a property baron. He's more likely to be seen in a nightclub than his office. In spite of that, he's wildly popular with people and his personal politics are relatively controversial. He's insufferable. An insufferable social influence. His political leanings amount to vapid platitudes and uh, glamour shots. He's used to being in the centre of attention wherever he goes. Okay, finally. It's a tough crowd, isn't it? She's a successful human rights lawyer, an acclaimed university lecturer, and a th 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 philanthropist, and a well-published expert on percentage of history. There's a lot of appointments, because she's going to put one. Which is zero cost. Not so fast, you If there's water cooler talk is... And is it is an addict hooked on painkillers? This might prove a problem for her administration. The minister will vanish. The minister will vanish on a few to, uh, for a few turns occasionally. No request can be filled for the minister while, her, while she's absent. Hmm. Tariq is an executive SA during the years of transition from monarchy to democracy. In that time, he bore witness to many questionable decisions made by previous leadership. This has made him some type of ma maverick getting the job. Uh, in, uh, get the job done his own way. Siphon small quantities of money, uh, treasury, quantities from the treasury each month, but great upgrade costs. But upgrades from his department will only cost favours, not ca never cash. Regardless of what position you appoint him in, giving cabinet position to ethnic, uh, coffee gives strong messages to people. It's time for unity, not division. Okay. So we're going to put him in charge of finance because kind of they're both less, but they're both like him. He's going to go defence because military. Cunning frugal. You are tactless, pious, resourceful. So I can't put him in then. Development. Put him in there, and that leaves this one on natural resources. Even though she's. A so we could have him, her rather. Yeah, we need a woman. Okay, confirm. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Oh, hang on a second. So you get, oh, you get what they are down there. Like, oh, so, okay, there's little bits about them down there. We'll, we'll hopefully we'll see what they are in a minute. I didn't, I didn't really pay attention to them, did I? So if you got a lot out there, I wish you could tell what they were. We'll find out in a minute, hopefully. Very good. Know that every 12 months, you may appoint a new cabinet minister for an unstaffed ministry should you choose to do so. More ministers mean more opportunities to do great things. And more people to keep happy. Quick anyway. Excellency, while you get settled in your new office, I have scheduled your agenda for the next few weeks. Are you interested in hearing it? Yeah, tell me more. Uh, 
Oh, these uh, regions then? Oh, look, they, they tell us where they're from. Ah. Tell me more. Most actions, aside from giving orders to units, cost a single action point. The number of action points available is equal to the number of ministers in our cabinet. Think of this as political capital to get things done. Okay. I've learned that our national power plant has not received a fuel shipment in weeks. The connecting roads were made unusable during the Civil War. Okay. By constructing a new road, oil will automatically be transported from the refinery to the power plant, and electricity can be restored to Basenji. Build the roads by click-dragging a line between two buildings. Ensure both the power plant and the oil refinery are connected to the same road network. Oh, so I do that then. So, build roads. Building roads costs one action point per month and treasury funds. Note that it is possible to both upgrade and bulldoze roads. Click on any road segment, including the one you just built, and select Upgrade in the road menu. Okay. Manipulating the camera should be straightforward. In addition to moving the cursor, you can use the WASD keys to pan the map or click and hold the middle mouse button. The mouse wheel is used to zoom in and out. Zooming out of the map will help you see the big picture of Bisenji. You can also rotate the map by clicking the rotation buttons. Okay. Or finally, these buttons will immediately pan the camera to buildings of specific importance. Resource producers, power plants and buildings that allow units to be recruited. That sort of thing. Okay. It's like power plants. Okay. After the Civil War, the United Nations established aid camps to distribute food rations to our people. We must start to produce our own food and not rely on the UN. Constructing agricultural fields allows us to produce our own food for our people and have a new source of revenue to grow our treasury. Okay, fair enough. Agricultural fields can only be placed on green terrain. From the right sidebar, click Construction. From there, choose the Agricultural Field. We will need to ensure that there is a working population available wherever we place them. I think I've done that, so... Where do I want to put it? Any ideas? Uh, what are you suggesting? Build an agricultural field. Uh, where? Here? I should remind you, Excellency, that we'll need a road connection between these fields and our cities. Okay. We can... Where did I just build it? Uh... Well, I can't build this built it then. Where was it? Oh, we see it. Here we go. Here we go. So I want to go to Rods, and we're going to go... Over time, Basenji's cities will demand more than just food to stay content. Okay. Urban citizens who purchase these goods from our state-run producers put money back into our treasury. Okay. As food supply increases, you can dismantle a UN camp. I would suggest doing this only once every few months because removing UN aid workers will come with a severe penalty to our diplomatic influence. For now though, I think we can weather it. Click on our UN camp and dismantle it now. We could spend funds and an action point to build a second agricultural field to support the anticipated growth in our city's demands next month. Okay. Alternatively, we could address the health crisis currently facing the province of Saba. Constructing a regional hospital adjacent to a city somewhere in this province would provide immediate care for those wounded during the Basenji Civil War. Ooh, the choice is yours. Future-proof your economy and construct another agricultural field or build a regional hospital adjacent to a city somewhere in the province of Saba to care for our wounded. I don't know, I'm torn. 
park, I don't know. I don't know. Park that we should build field. Construction. Hospital. Now I'm going to go agriculture. Oh, we've built something different this time. Uh, let's build it so I can just build it there. Uh, let's then build what's this done. Well done, Excellency. Thank you for putting your faith in me. You may have noticed that buildings consume both workers and power. Getting more power is a question of building more power plants. Getting more workers, however, is a much bigger problem. Okay, tell me more. For now, it is prudent to spread your buildings out between your provinces, so you don't end up with a worker shortage. Yep. So we've got... Let's have a look at this then. So we've got... Hmm. Excellency, Sabria, apologies for the interruption. Our military is in a state of disrepair, and I must insist we address that sooner rather than later. Construct a military base, Excellency. This will be where all our military units are produced. Okay, so military base. So, where do we put said military base? I wonder. So, in the middle, I reckon. No, I don't see what he says, sir. Where? Kind of new main I reckon. Oh, middle of the desert. Okay, understood. Good morning, Excellency. Good morning. Yusef, the local news is reporting something difficult to believe. An industrious shepherd appears to have hybridized a bunch of old cars to produce an armored bipedal tank. Cool. I may have made a big mistake. <laughs> Why would anyone do that? Uh, because it's awesome? <laughs> yeah. Hello? Can anyone hear me? I am stuck inside this armored bipedal tank and have lost systems control. Although this is probably also a threat to our national security. Thankfully, we can use that military base to recruit some new troops and send them to disable it. Okay. We will need to train a military unit. All units have a role to play in combat, and it is for you to decide which unit to train. I would, however, suggest that you not train the SAM truck. It cannot attack ground-based units, including whatever that thing is. Okay. Order our troops to disable the civilian bipedal tank by first clicking on the unit, then click dragging a line to the target. Okay, Outstanding! Cool. We have pulled the very frightened shepherd from the wreckage. Hopefully his insurance covers all the damage he caused. Thank you! I spent so much of my time thinking about how to create a giant homemade walking tank out of old cars and recovered munitions. I never stopped to think if I should. <laughs> right. Well, Excellency, this seems as good a time as any to introduce your ministries. This is where you set all the policies specific to our nation. Click on the Ministry of Finance for now. Setting our tax policy to regressive will increase our tax base if our people's prosperity is low. Our nation's liberals will absolutely hate this move, but maybe we can win back their trust in other ways. Set our tax policy to regressive now. Yeah, okay. Good. Let's check in well. now with the Ministry of Defense. Okay. Over time, a minister will research new policies for our nation. If you keep them happy by fulfilling the requests they routinely bring to us, that research gets completed faster. Okay. The minister is of the view that we might be able to learn something from this uh, bizarre incident with the armored walking vehicle.
do. Uh, um, you can choose which policy opportunities a minister is going to research by clicking on it. Choose a policy opportunity for the Minister of Defense to research now. You can even choose that silly bipedal walking tank if it means that much to you, but will probably need a lot of cash in a secret facility if you plan on going down that road. Yeah, cool. Ministers who are not given research priorities will create their own based on their personal interests. In fact, particularly belligerent ministers may do their own thing, regardless of what you say. Okay. We should suggest policy opportunities for the remaining three ministers to research now. So, a development contract to come for to do research, banking. I kind of have no idea. Legal immigrant immigrant approval, property corruption. Down, prosperous goes down. I've got no clue. Uh, I don't really give you anything, does it? So basically, each one gives you something. Do something. Youth labour, not doing that. Urban approval. Everything's got a positive and a negative. So we're not doing that. Uh, I generally have got no idea. Uh, Super notes increases production, uh, corruption, sorry. And let's go casino. And you've got uh, transportation, toll roads, bus fleet, uh, permit self driving cars, internet surveillance, <laughs> privacy laws. Let's go with. Not tall, let's go with bus fleet. Seed, you've got something to work on. Solar power. Because it looks like we're in the, it looks like we're set in the Middle East. So I'm gonna go with Yeah, you've got lots to look at. So they, they do lots of different things. Solar power. Great. Research will be conducted faster when the minister has a great deal of respect for you. Unhappy ministers may not do any research at all. Excellency, our economy is pretty stagnant right now, which will limit our opportunities to better this great nation. I have a plan, however, that will give us a little extra boost. Let's review our national budget. Okay, let's do that. Very good. I've got some more ideas on how we can increase our national treasury. Tell me more. A lot of things outside of our control can affect Basenji's monthly revenue. City growth, immigration, the price of commodities, or a transportation infrastructure. So what you're looking at is our minister's best estimates based on a snapshot of the country as it stands today. Okay. Lowering provincial expenses helps a little, but it will also take its toll on the general well-being of those provinces. Okay. But look at these ministry expenses. You may want to change some policies in the Ministry of Development later on. Just a little bit. Ongoing unit maintenance costs are something to keep a close eye on as well. It's better to use a few units well than grow a bloated military. I like the military, I might disagree with you on that one, my dear. Because we have a Minister of Finance, we also have the option of taking out loans in the forms of bonds or an IBRD loan. 
The interest repayment terms for these are not kind, so I wouldn't suggest doing this unless we were in a real emergency. I agree with you. Inevitably, the best way for us to have nice things is to find resources and sell them. Later, we can use those resources to craft more valuable goods and sell them instead. We may need to consider a few temporary provincial funding cuts until we get our economy jump-started. I'll leave it to you to decide where, but ultimately, I propose you cut just enough to establish a positive cash flow. Understand. The personal budget of Mr. Dump to six, our policy expenses is the most... Wow. How do I do... I want to I wanna change that. Uh... Let's just cut down conservation. And just be, uh, well, I don't know. Oh, let's not do that actually. Uh, let's just cut down. Yeah, I mean, I don't know one there. And that's just lower. And health and Saba confirm changes. We should create a surveyor unit to scout for new resources. Resources will eventually make it possible for us to sell more complex products for our cities. But for now, we can export these raw materials to a neighbor if the demand exists. Okay. Click on the palace at Mijimura by either finding it on the map or clicking on the palace fast access button at the bottom of the screen. From there, train a surveyor. Excellency, we have used up all our actions for this month. Let us reconvene next month. I want to see what I want to see in first. Bus fleet. Minus 50, tell us. Okay. And we go to our next Good morning, time. Excellency. Good morning. Tell me more. Click on the surveyor you've just trained to reveal all the potential resources in Bisenji. By exploring these sites, we can potentially uncover new resources for our economy. There is a possible resource deposit located on a tile not too far from his current location. Drag him to the nearest tile with the potential resource deposit, note the black pin, and click Survey Adjacent Tiles from the Surveyor Interface. Okay. We found oil. And Let's build a new refinery on that oil deposit. Select one from the construction menu. Now our nation has two oil refineries. One is sending oil to our power plant. Perhaps we can sell the oil from this one to one of our neighbors. At least, while well, we don't have a demand for plastics yet in Bisenji. Click on the diplomacy menu. Relations with those other nations we share a border with can be tricky. If we can maintain a strong, positive relationship, we can mutually prosper from expanding trade. If they grow to hate us too much, we may find ourselves invaded. Okay. Our relationship will depend greatly on their interests, which are not immediately known to us. Spending intelligence on research is one way to better understand these interests. Chicken is done. <laughs> if the fat got a chicken on it. <laughs> Okay. In addition to their relationship with us, these neighboring states also have their own internal stability to be concerned about. A collapsing neighbor means lots of refugees seeking asylum in our borders, in addition to other challenges to manage. Take notice as well of the three major powers interested in influencing the future of the region. The United States of America, the Russian Federation, and the People's Republic of China. If any one of these powers sees us as a threat to their interests, we may find ourselves in a war we cannot possibly win. On the other hand, if we can eventually improve our relations to the point where an alliance is achieved, the others may leave us alone. Let's see if any of our neighbors happen to have an interest in Bisenji crude oil. Once they're on the phone, select Negotiate Trade, then make an offer to export oil. Cool. Greetings, actually. My name is Prime Minister Rashid uh, Nazaran of the free state of Ak Akstijan, Akstanijan, Akstijan, Akstijan, I apologize I'm butchering that, C congratulations on your recent election, the people have chosen wisely by making you the head of state, our two nations have a prior history of mutual cooperation, 
So please don't hesitate to contact me if you need any, if anything you might need. Uh, negotiate trade deal. Don't forget to build a road connection. No idea. Propose. Not bad at all. We'll need to make sure there's a road connection between the oil refinery and the border checkpoint, or else our oil will never reach them and no money will be earned. So, hang on a second. So, I need to build a road connection to there. So, build a road connection. So we also need to build a road to get to it as well, so we want another road. Surveyors, facilities inspectors and clerics can consume an action point to double their movement distance. Keep this in mind if you find yourself with extra action points. Okay. Excellency, we have used up all our actions for this month. Let us reconvene next month. Uh, diplomacy. Okay. Good morning, Excellency. Good morning. Excellency, Sabria. Apologies for the interruption. Again. Intelligence reports that a small contingent of rebels and dissidents calling themselves the Basenji Liberation Front are on the move toward what's left of that armored bipedal vehicle. The Basenji Liberation Front? They're a small union of various interest groups with the united goal of destabilizing our democracy and removing you from power. What could they want with a pile of metal junk in the deep desert? Okay, I can think of you Regardless, things. reports indicate they are armed and we must respond with force, Excellency. If the public feels we can't keep them safe, we may end up playing right into the insurgents' agenda. Our units start fiercely loyal to our regime, Excellency. Just be aware that the military is looking for you to make smart decisions. Sending units on suicide missions, making poor choices, and making our nation into a laughingstock may result in our soldiers doubting your leadership and side with the enemy. Every unit can only attack once per month, and we're anticipating at least a couple targets. We may need to field more troops. Eliminate the BLF units before they are able to reach the wreckage. I want infantry. Uh, get rid of that tank, mortar, infantry, I want to then draw a line from, how do I then get them all, how do we then go, can I make them all together and go? Right, well, okay, we might have turns, okay. Oh, okay. Good morning, Excellency. Every unit can only attack once per month, and we're anticipating at least a couple targets. I understand, right. Oh, I want you. Okay, so I can't, I can't even let it on now. Way. 
Good morning, Excellency. Every unit can only attack. I know, I know, I know. On our way. Great work, Excellency. It would be prudent to have forces spread throughout the nation to address whatever threats may come our way. Excellency, as important as our national defense is, I will show you how to stay in power by balancing the differing interests of liberals and conservatives, religious and secular citizens, even urban and rural populations. Let's start by examining how we are doing, province by province. Click on Banifa. The upper graph shows your current approval levels in Banifa by demographic over the past 10 months. If they get too displeased with you, the rebels will be emboldened. Okay. The lower graph shows that province's ratings for prosperity, education, health, safety, the environment, and entertainment. Keeping these from getting too low in all five provinces is going to be crucial if you want the people to stay content. In many provinces, our environmental ratings are falling. A few are getting particularly low. Let's talk about what we can do about that. Go ahead and click anywhere to close the provincial detail panel. Do what I do want to do. I want to put the light back. Traffic congestion can restrict the flow of goods, and more importantly, drag down your regional environmental, entertainment, and prosperity ratings. Let's check the traffic lens to see if this is the case. Most of the roads are tinted green. It appears the traffic is not currently a bottleneck for us. If too many industries export goods on the same roads, you will eventually want to upgrade those roads by clicking on the road segment and pressing the Upgrade Roads button. So, let's consider what else we can do to improve our environmental rating. At the provincial level, you can increase funding to conservation, but this will increase your treasury expenses every turn. We could also construct a nature preserve or public gardens to improve your environmental rating, which have a larger one-time cost. At a nationwide level, we can make some policy changes. They might not cost us any money, but they will likely result in other trade-offs for consideration. In the Ministry of Natural Resources, we can ration power and sacrifice our entertainment rate in all provinces for our environment rating. We can also change our governing principles from an exploitation perspective to a stewardship perspective. So let's get some, let's get some military over for a second. I'm, I'm ignoring the tutorial for a minute or two. There is no one way to accomplish anything. The choice is yours as to how you want to proceed. You are the glorious leader. Thank you. Uh, budget review. If I Environment Good. Changes. It will take time to see the results of these improvements. So, as a longer-term goal, I would suggest you think about building more agricultural fields, a plastics factory, and a manufacturing plant with a view to getting processed food production online before your citizens start to demand it. Okay. Notice the resource production and demand icons in the right <clears throat> sidebar. These are the five products that cities may grow to demand over time. The left number under each product represents how much you are producing at present, minus any products consumed in order to produce other products. There's a lot to take in. The right number represents how much of that good is demanded by our cities at this time. It's possible for us to produce more than what is demanded. When this happens, consider exporting the surplus to a friendly neighbor. Wow, there's a lot to take in, isn't there? This is how we make money. Tax dollars will not be enough. We need to start building production chains to manufacture processed foods, household goods, consumer electronics, and luxury goods. Sell them to our neighbors at first with trade agreements. Then, when urban citizens start to demand them here, we will sell to our own people as well. Processed food should come first. Hold the mouse over the processed food icon in the right sidebar. Processed food is going to require more farms, more oil refineries, a plastics factory, and a manufacturing plant. We will also need them all connected by roads. Okay. Thankfully, we already have extra oil that we're exporting. 
If you construct a plastics factory in a manufacturing plant and connect them to the road network, the oil will automatically be diverted to plastics production while you send our surveyor to seek up new deposits. Fantastic. Any food or processed food purchased by our citizens or by other countries is money that goes straight into our pockets. Keep an eye on your production chains and aim to produce at least eight a term. Over time, you should be surveying more resources or importing what resources you need in order to produce household goods, consumer electronics, and luxury goods. Okay. As important as our economy is, you might also want to consider as a longer term goal, trying to grow our intelligence capabilities. Building an intelligence agency and training spies will help us find BLF camps hidden across our nation. And finally, keep an eye on your worker count. The only way to get more workers in Besenji is to open the country up to more immigrants. And that's something you need to negotiate with our neighboring countries. Immigrants are valuable members of our society, but if our relations with their country of origin go poorly, you can expect their approval of our government to falter as well. I note that there are certain... Uh emergency measures that can be used to relocate your population within Besenji in the event of a worker crisis, but they're ugly solutions. We can talk about them if it becomes necessary. I bet they were, bet they were ugly solutions. I think we've bombarded our glorious leader with enough information, Yusuf. Let's go. Good luck, Excellency. Wow, that was quite a detailed, uh, a detailed tutorial. Get a refresher on the objective details, clicking on them. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Excellency. Very well. See, as you can travel. We run out of turn. Excellency. These numbers represent civilian and military units that don't have any movement orders assigned. You may want to consider sending them somewhere before ending your tour. Uh, send you. Let's send you over here. Ah, oh, that's good to tour, that was. Hell of a lot of information. Some <coughs> appeal. Uh, was to repeal a law enacted by peace of transit because it required a portion of workforce to include individual disabilities. Many amputees, that's saying. Uh, oh god, eh. Uh, repeal the law. Okay. Objection complete. Have we, uh, I need assistance with regular approval. Understood. Excellency, lots of people are very unhappy and have taken to protesting in the streets. This is not a good situation to be in, but there is still time to make things right. While a protest occurs in any city, the loyalty of any ministers from that city's province will drop by 1% oh. every month. Oh, because, uh, and we're in. What province is this? Sabah. Sabah is a lion's head. We have got nobody from Sabah. Okay. A protest that occurs in a city belonging to a province with low safety can turn into a riot. Riots are worse than protests. The loyalty of any ministers from that city's province will drop by 3% every month. What do we do, though? I know we can't please everyone, but it may be prudent to take a closer look at what's happening. 
Click on the approval lens and you will see parts of the country where you are truly hated. It hurts, but this is how we get better. See those red spots on the map? That's where your approval ratings are really bad. Click on some of the tiles in that region and the citizens who live there will appear at the bottom of the screen. In my experience, unhappy people never shut up. If you hold the mouse over the citizens, a tooltip should yield some choice quotes about why they're so upset with you. Perhaps uh, it's because you haven't given your political staffer a raise in forever. Okay, that'll do something about that. Okay. Uh, I don't know what to improve the level. Okay. How? Well, it's just working off a ton. They have to wait. Like, where do you start? Okay, so you. Excellency. Survey adjacent tiles. Very well. Okay, so. Right, so. Let's look, you see you've got, how this works, so you've got safety, health, entertainment, education, environment, health, entertainment, education, workers, so, so you are, so, so you're there, so what I'm going to do is, Construction, plastic factory, there, construction, and we'll build a magic manufacturing plant, there, two miniatures and got orders, processed food, Excellency. Let's move you to there. And let's move you. Let's move you to there. Okay. Mm hmm. Now off a little wonder. If you get a thanks. Broom, broom. It takes a while to move. If you get too spread out, you could be a bit of bother. Okay, excellent. We've received the most bizarre gift from Tajikistan. It arrived at the palace from the embassy with no letter and no contexts. It is a ten foot, ten foot tall gilded statue of a bear wearing a funny hat. I don't know what to do with it, so I called the Tajikistan embassy. They just giggled at each other and hung up the phone. The wealth of the wealth of your liberal cities is something that we may send about we urge you to increase their approval. Thank you for that, Mr. Trakish Trajikistan fella. Agree. Okay. Alright, let's go to budget. When well, Ali's in let's take this let's take that down to there. What can we do then? Let's take that just increase that with us. Who blind me? Uh, what can we do? Minus twenty two. Mm, right, I'm going to decrease them. Twelve reset confirm changes. Uh have you let's just have you up there like that. Action points most 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 make the most of your action points. Uh need about eighty. 
Hmm. Improve. Leave that as it is. I might as well can do. Can we go if I go to here? Go to the palace. Military, refineries, power plants. And then we want to train a another surveyor and we want you to go and survey that. Uh, what construction can we do? Entertainment. Can we build entertainment down here, I wonder? Construction, anything entertainment wise? D. Hmm. A stadium. Okay, got one more action point. Home of the Lions, season record, okay. Uh, one more action point. Then we'll do construct a agricultural field and we're gonna stick you in. Where have I got workers? We've got lots of workers in Quarif, which is where Quarif is not that one. Down here. But you just Okay, cool. Go. They're on the way to moving places. And it be, have been captured. Uh, a certain. Let's go down. Okay. Come on, it's in there. We're nearly out of money. You budget. Yeah, I know it's another not gonna like it, but what can we do? What can we possibly do? Not cutting education. Let's roll back on everything. You slash budgets everywhere. Confirm changes. Uh, so I got to diplomacy. Uh, stable, tense, relations. Let's see if Chicky stand. Buck, 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 buck. Okay. Also, we'll buy a tyrannical monarch ruled before we. <coughs> the Treaty of Krukovnia called for Western Punish monarch to be preserved to be made powerless th with their annexation. The Eastern Punish, not si without a sense of humour, fulfilled this condition by installing a bantam booster in the place of a symbolic fox monarch. The notion of a nation ruled by a tyrant chicken proved too absurd for the global media to ignore. Less sensitive outlets took to call on the new uh, Punish Punan hegemony, Chickenistan. 
the ruling the ruling joke took a dark turn as the, opp the oppressed West Punish minority were able to seize control over the country's legislative assembly in a bloodless coup and reinstate reinst reinstall the pre-existing laws of the monarchy before their annexation. The end result, as impro improbable as it may seem, was that the West Punish were able to maintain total control of the country so long as the monarch monarchical dynasty was preserved, with the original monarch dead dead along with the family line. The least contentious, contentious option was to continue the facade of the route. <laughs> oh. The end result became a new dictatorship that, on the surface, appears to be run by a rooster and is in a circle. Being a lower order avian, most analysts agree that the rooster is not even conscious of this step. <laughs> <laughs> genius. Absolutely bloody genius. Regardless, the people of Chickenistan are maintaining the charade, even go as far as formally formally changed the name of the country to the popularly, pop, popularly adopted moniker. Emperor Vusti is given executive oversight and his decisions are largely interpreted by expert staffers who allegedly study his vocalizations of body language to derive meaning. She is only accepted to all those that their staffers are the ones actually ch dictating Chikadistani policy. <laughs> oh, that's genius. That's made me smile. Uh, Okay, and call, propose. Is that good? Where is Chief Kenny Stan? Uh, so if I come there, so hang on. So, does the chicken talk or? I think it just clucks and they pretend they understand what it's saying. So this is what? A big joke? Everybody's in on it? Yeah, but they're so in on it that it's not a joke anymore. How long do chickens live? I think they just replace the chicken every few years and hope nobody notices. I would notice. I know you would notice, Yusuf. I know. Oh, that pair were brilliant. I love that pair. <laughs> Great. <Yeah. laughs> bonkers. Like, why is it road connection to chicken is now? Up here, there we are. All right. Okay. Okay. I think I might leave it there. I'm thinking to myself. It's interesting, there's a hell of a lot to take in. A hell of a lot to take in, but it's quite it's an interesting game. Health is still stuck in there. Intelligence, so... How do we see our review budget? Exports... Okay, food exports, we're not exporting anything, but... Okay. Anyway, that's interesting. Let's up our. Let's leave it as is for the time being. Let's up our confirmed changes. <laughs> okay. Anyway, let me know what you think. That was quite an interesting little, uh, little, little game. That. <laughs> uh, I quite, I quite enjoyed that. There's quite a lot to it. Let me know if you want to carry it on. Let me know if you've played it and I'm doing things wrong. For example, what's the best way to go on about achieving this? What? Do the liberals. Citizenship. Okay. Cool, so there's, way, there's ways to improve that. Okay. Anyway, let me know what you think. In fact, and yeah, if you've played it yourself. Let me know I'm getting on, and if you want to carry on, let me know. But anyway, thanks very much for watching, and as ever, I shall see you in the next one. Thanks very much. Bye.